What is up guys? We are back for another episode of the Pokemon Let's Play Emerald playthrough with the scrub -a dub dubs guys. This is a special video. That is right guys, championship time here in the Hoenn region. We are prepared. We got a comment in the chat last video saying we better lead with mine on because this son of a gun has a whale lord that is Wallace guys the champion of Hoenn of course Steven in Ruby and Sapphire was the championship was the champion rather he has been dethroned Wallace the one's eighth gym leader of Hoenn now the champion in Pokemon Emerald guys my goodness this is not going to be an easy fight I don't think I know last time I was kind of downplaying it but he has actually got some good Pokemon including Milotic guys my gosh, even a Tentacruel, which poses just a dual threat being a poison type. I mean, that we could get poison in this fight. There is a ton of different factors that we are going to have to battle against and try to overcome in this fight against Wallace, guys. He's saluting us for our efforts, saving virtually the Hoenn region as a whole, guys. But do you think he's going to hold back because of that? Absolutely not. Let's get this championship battle underway here guys he's gonna lead out with his well lord we are gonna lead with little minon but hey minon can pack a punch guys no doubt about it you know what i don't think thunder is gonna one hit this thing so let's save the power play and it's probably gonna miss too so you know what let's go with the shockwave let's just see how much damage this does hopefully yellow Ah, uh, Whale Lord just got a ton of HP, I think that's why. Now, that, that's fine that it's going to use Water Spout here. Um, we'll live with that. 68 times 2 is what? 136. Just another Shockwave, what the heck. It'd be nice if we could 3-hit this thing. Now, I don't expect him to Potion... Well, now with the double edge, Minon's going to be down. Oh, that stinks. And he's going to potion up, guys. <coughs> so that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a bit right there. <coughs> no doubt about that. What do we even... I'm just trying to think here, because maybe I throw out Torkoal and just... Yeah, Torkoal could just be kind of a waste, right? We just bring back Minon from the from the faint. It could get, just kind of be like a throwaway turn in a sense, because I'd imagine Torkoal would get one hit by this Whale Lord, and if it doesn't, that's incredible. All right, let's just get Minon back to full health. Let's just prioritize that right now. Okay, Minon is fully healed, guys. Water Spout again. That should be a one-hit KO, I'd imagine. Be crazy if it's not. Alright, I, I figured that. We'll live with that. Let's go out to mine on here again, guys. Let's try Spark. Let's see if Spark does anything more different. I really want to save that Thunder for the Milo Tick. I think Spark actually did a little bit more there. Oh, wow. So now we get the Rain Dance out. So you know what that means, guys. Thunder can't miss. You know what? Let's not take any more chances here. Let's take the KO when it's in front of us. Not sure why he would use that, actually. Especially when we have an Electric-type Pokemon out. Uh, that's Wallace having a brain fart there, guys. And you know what? One down for each of us, but Torkoal really wasn't going to be used in this fight. So probably not the end of the world. And guys, we're going to one-hit this Gyarados right here because we can now use Thunder onto this darn thing and it won't miss. And guess what, guys? It is four times strong to Gyarados because of Gyarados' typing. This is going to be an easy, easy KO right here, guys. Do, uh, what is that? 120 times four. That's 360 base damage to this thing. Down it goes. All right, we may have the upper hand right now, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves because he's going to throw a change up at us right here and throw in his Whiskash, unfortunately. Um, now, because of this, Whiskash kind of, I mean, we've already seen this from our Whiskash, right? Kind of packs a little bit of bulk. So we're going to play the long game here and we're going to throw a Toxic down. So you can see, guys, 
I know Dust Talks maybe didn't get all of the glory in this Elite Four run here, but I'll tell you what, guys. This Toxic may win us this fight. Um, just grinding this Whisk Cash down is essentially what we're going to do here. Um, so everybody is playing a role. Even if Torkoal feign it, guys, Torkoal is still playing a role by being out there and doing a, based virtually a stall turn and basically getting us a heal on the mine on. So guys, no one is uh, bringing down the squad here whatsoever. Everyone has done a tremendous job knowing their role in this Elite Four run. Something I've really appreciated, really, from all the guys on my squad. Everybody really knew their knew their role and knew their part. And you could see that amnesia, guys. Just look how look how bulky this Wish Cash was to begin with. And now that the special defense is virtually up four times because it sharply rose twice. I mean, we're going to have to probably Aerial Ace to just even do even more damage, and we're not even going to get stabbed with that. Earthquake will most likely be a two-hit on Dust Tox, I believe. I'd be sh Okay, I was going to say, I would have been shocked. It's a shame Dust Tox doesn't know Giga Drain. I never actually found that. Okay, so he can't attack this turn. This might be a perfect... Uh, we're going to go into our Whisk Cash here after Dust Tox faints, and I think we're going to get the KO. With our Earthquake. Between our Earthquake and the Poison now. I, I think this will definitely be KO. Just gotta hope he doesn't. Ah, uh, that stinks. Oh, wow, he didn't. I'm surprised he didn't full restore right there. I am actually shocked. Wow. that Guys, that's that's huge for us. I am shocked. I, I, I'm actually mind-boggled. So he's going to send out Ludicolo. This could prove to be a very difficult Pokemon to defeat. So we're going to actually play the same exact strategy we just did with the Whiskash. Um, as Ludicolo packs kind of more stalling tactics. We're going to Toxic this thing just like we did there in Aerial Ace it with uh, Dustox, guys. I think that's going to be our best strategy moving forward here. Ludicolo is no joke, guys. It may look like a very friendly, nonchalant Pokemon, but let me tell you something. I've used this Pokemon in competitive play in, uh, in recent Pokemon games. It's no joke of a Pokemon. It can really ruin your day. Now, we're lucky here that he doesn't have Rain Dish on his, so he's not going to use the tactic where he uh, Rain Dances, Toxics us, etc., so he's not healing all this HP, and he doesn't have Leftovers. So thank God he doesn't have that, but online, guys, Ludicolo... No joke. If you if you really learn the strategy of using Ludicolo, you could really make someone like really frustrated in Pokemon. It's actually a very very underrated Pokemon. Um, oh, and actually, I forgot we can use Silver Wind against this thing. It'll be super effective, and we'll get Stab. Now that's a problem right there with Leech Seed, right, guys? So he's going to be able to heal HP now every turn and suck away HP from our guys as well. And you can see almost doing 20 right there. That's a solid chunk of change there. Silverwind. We gotta hope that we get a stat boost from this. Because we only have one more power play of it. Ah, we are... Unfortunately, we're not getting that stat boost that we want. Now, I think because he used double team, maybe we'll go Aerial Ace just because it cannot miss. Right? Or do we... You know what? Let's use... Okay, we're very lucky that that hit right there. Let's see if we can get the stat boost here. Double team again. Now, I'd imagine he's going to full restore here. I'm really shocked we didn't get the stat boost again. Oh, well, actually, that could help right there. Maybe it won't go into the red with the poison. Who knows? I think it still will. Okay, so that, that was... That was a given right there, I think. I think we knew he was going to do that. We probably should have used Toxic again. But the thing is, Toxic has 85 accuracy now, guys. Um, and he's got a double, double team going right now. It's going to be tough. And we still hit it. Thank goodness. That was huge. That was very critical right there that we got that off. It looks like he's just going to be a double team machine right now. Um... Maybe we use this next turn to heal. Why don't we just do that? Why don't we just get Dust Tox healed up all the way? Um, because it seems like he's not really showing any moves that are going to severely damage us. So yeah, let's just Hyper Potion up Dust Tox here. Why not? So Surf probably take us to halfway, I'd imagine, right? Yeah, okay. 
We'll live with that. And you know what? We'll get another aerial ace off here. Maybe just even like heal dust tox again. What the heck? Let's just play a little stall game on him. Yeah, so it seems like he's trying to attack now. He's realizing that at a certain point he's going to have to start attacking us. Now the leech seed is really critical for him because that's really saving him with this toxic here. Hey, we'll just keep playing the stall game. Let's see where it gets us. I think this actually might work out to our advantage here. Even though he has the leech seed going, guys, um, I, I think eventually it's going to work in our favor where the toxic is just going to be overriding it because it does get stronger every single turn. And you can see right there already doing a little bit more that time. Now, the thing is, we can't overuse our potions, so at a certain point, we're going to probably have to, you know, save them here. And I, I think this might be the time where we do it. I think next turn, let's just go with an aerial ace onto this thing. Dustox still proven to be pretty bulky. The fact that it's like taking all these hits still um, as just a really weak Pokemon really has proven itself to be a vital part of our team here. Just gotta hope he doesn't full restore again, which I wouldn't throw it out of the equation. I, I wouldn't be shocked if he did. So we gotta kind of think in the back of our minds that that still is a possibility. Maybe this could KO it? I have no clue. Oh, let's go. That is huge, guys. So he's going to send out Tentacruel now. This could be tough. This could be tough, guys. No doubt about that. We're going to run a fake out just to get a free attack here. All right. And let's do a little faint attack. Toxic, thank gosh it missed, guys. We got extremely lucky right there. All right. So we'll live with that again, right? Because we're not taking any damage per se on that turn. We're going to take it over time. And honestly, we're just going to try to like weaken this thing down and maybe revive Dustox. Let's actually just try that. Why not, right? I mean, well, let's just get one. Oh, hopefully it doesn't KO us. Come on, Sabli, hang on there. Oh, critical hit. That stinks. But actually, wait, Whiskash knows Earthquake. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, that stinks. So let's do this. I probably should have checked that before the battle. Let's restore that. So we're lucky that Hydro Pump missed. Now, I think Hydro Pump has like 80 or 85 accuracy. So let's use Earthquake now. We're going to get toxic, but I don't think it's going to totally matter here. With the Soft Sand and the two times Strength plus Stab, I think it's safe to say this would be a KO, especially because we are the matching level of this thing. Okay, and I was right, right there. Thank goodness, guys. Was a little nervous there. Now, he's going to send out Milotic here, guys. This is by far his best Pokemon uh, we all know that Milotic is a beast if you play Gen 3. That little Phoebus doesn't look like that good. Until you, man, until I'll tell you what, until you evolve it into this darn thing. How would you even know playing Emerald the first time if you caught this random Phoebus? Like, you know, you're out there looking and you're like, man, why do I not find a lot of these Phoebus, even though it stinks? Well, guys, there is a reason. It is because this thing right here is a beast. Milotic, you know, we're going to full restore here just to get rid of the poison. And just to heal up. Let's play a little stall game here now on this Milotic, guys. Surf's up, guys. I still think we got the upper hand here. Wow, and the Milotic knows Toxic as well. That's incredible, guys. So, hey, we're going to Earthquake again. And let's just hope he doesn't maybe full restore. We might not even need to use Minon. It's possible that we might not have to. Hey, that actually might save us because he may not elect a full restore now because of the berry heal. And I think we have enough in the tank right now to get a KO, guys. And I don't think that's going to KO us, guys. We may have just won the Elite Four. Ah, that's weak. Guys, we're going to have to go. I don't think Shockwave can do it because Milotic is bulky. We're going all out Thunder. And it hits! Guys, we are the Elite. Guys, we are the champion of the Hoenn region. Champion! 
The Scrubs did it! Let's go! We set out from Little Root guys a long time ago and we just did the unthinkable. Wow! This playthrough, we have gone through so much ups and downs and now we are the champion of the Hoenn region. Unreal guys! All right. Professor Birch May here to congratulate us. They're like, man, I would have never thought that stupid dust tox that you had such a hard time getting when you had all those silcoons coming from the Wurmples. Uh, who would have even known this kid from Little Root Town what is going to take down Wallace, the champion of Hoenn, guys? Oh, my goodness. We got to play these credits, guys. The Hall of Fame room, so cool in this game. I always thought this was so neat. Guys, it is over. Our journey, we made it all the way to Evergrande, and now we are in the Hall of Fame of the Hoenn region. We will not be forgotten, guys. The game is saving. We got our Hall of Fame entry right here. We got Minun. We got Dust Tox, Hands Off, Butchers, Torkoal, Sabli. I'm guessing Del Caddy's next. Oh, it's Whiskash next. And how about that, guys? It is Del Caddy. Unreal. What a team. What a playthrough. It was so fun, guys. It I, honestly, this type of playthrough really did make it a lot of ch a lot more challenging for myself. I've played Emerald a ton of times, guys, but my goodness, I, I've never had more fun. Look at that! <laughs> Look at our ID number and the time. <laughs> all four and all fours and ones. That is so unique. Um, man, guys, I can't even believe this right now. We just beat the game with the guys we have. This is by far my most memorable Pokemon playthrough of all time. I gotta say that was a ton of fun. Let's watch the credits and reminisce here, guys, on the journey we took all the way from Little Root. This music really hits the heart. The old Pokemon Emerald credits theme. Ah, oh, man, I remember as a kid the first time beating Sapphire and just, like, freaking out because I remember I was down to using Struggle. I had one Pokemon, like, that was a beast and everybody else stunk. It was a Swampert, guys. And I remember beating that Metagross with struggle, guys. Okay, just imagine that right now. And I was freaking out. I saw these credits. I was on top of the world. I was probably about 8 or 9. And now when I'm 23 and I'm still playing this game, obviously Emerald, the, uh, the more complete version of the game. But my goodness, you want to talk about Blast from the past. These games, guys, there's nothing like them. I mean... Uh, there, there, nothing still compares in the Pokemon world, and I'm extremely excited now to move on to Generation 4, guys. That'll be out very uh, shortly. I'm going to start that as well. Expect that within the next couple days. But, man, we spent a good month on this game, and let me tell you something. For all the downs we had and all the frustrations, whether it be the 7th gym, guys, whether it be the, the what was it, the 3rd May battle, even losing to Roxanne the first time, and I think losing to Watson, too, guys, like... You know, one thing for sure is, yeah, we had our downs, but we never let it get to us, guys. We kept going out there, grinding, working hard, catching more guys. And the best part was that everybody played their part. Even Trico and Grovile guys who were in the PC, they helped us get across certain uh, obstacles in the world with the HMs, using Flash, Cut, etc., It's so much fun when you actually go through a Pokemon game and you actually... You feel like you're building a real team, right, that can help you, you know, kind of do everything you need to do. And, and I think that's something that's important to learn as a life lesson, guys. You can't win life on a, on a one-man team. And uh, you could look at anything. I'm a big sports fan. You can, This is very evident. You can take a look at the 2001 Sixers, guys. And, they, you know, there's a reason they made it to the NBA Finals, which was great. And that's an accomplishment within itself. But there is a reason, guys why they weren't hoisting the trophy in the day. They had really one player who was effective. They had a washed up to Kembe Mutombo, and that's not Mutombo's fault, guys. He was just old. 
but I mean, that's that's life advice, guys. You're going to need people in your life to lean on at times. You can't do everything yourself, and I think that's one thing this playthrough really exemplified throughout the Hoenn region. And that's one thing I've always loved about Pokemon. They've always done a great job of applying their game, playing it how you want to, and even teaching you life lessons along the way, guys. And that is why Pokemon in my heart will always be one of the greatest games ever, guys. And it is official. The end. We have just defeated Pokemon Emerald. But guess what, guys? That's only the base story. There is more to Pokemon Emerald, including catching legendaries, um, going to the Battle Frontier, etc., guys. And you know what? That's one thing we are actually going to do. We're going to do a Battle Frontier series. Now, I'm most likely going to run that on Twitch, I think, and then maybe port it over to YouTube if that's possible. Um... I think another thing we're going to think about doing is maybe doing a couple Twitch live streams looking for shinies. And that's and I think we're going to start with Rayquaza and maybe go through all the legendaries. And now if that takes eight hours, it takes eight hours. If it takes ten hours, it takes ten hours. If it takes an hour, it takes an hour. Guys, we're going to sit there and maybe think about doing that. Um, don't know when the timetable is going to be for that because I really want to move into Pokemon Platinum as that is Gen 4. And um, I know I've talked about it. From Gen 4, we'll move back to Gen 3 again, just on the remakes of Kanto, Fire Red, or Leaf Green, depending on which one I choose. Um, and then after that, we'll head to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So we're, we'll do a flip flop. Then again, back to Gen 4, we'll go up to Generation again. And perhaps after that, we'll play the, the Lost Generation in my heart, the generation I never actually played as a kid, Generation 5. Um, only heard great things about that. I know who Team Plasma is, I've played the card game a little bit. So I'm really excited, guys, to see where this channel is going to go. It has been a blast, guys, playing these games from the past. I guess we got to hit A here. Yes, we do. The game is going to reload, and let's just see what happens here. I believe we'll be in Little Root Town. All right, all right, all right. Look at that, guys. Eight badges, Pokedex 16. We're back at home in Little Root Town, guys. And we're going to come downstairs, and there's Mom and Dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you still remember my name, man. <laughs> oh, wow, and Mr. Briny, guys, he gave us the SS ticket. Amazing how that all comes full circle in this game, right? That's one thing I loved about Emerald. For as slow as it is in the beginning, they do such a great job of connecting everything. And I think it's characters in this game that made it so iconic, and legendary Pokemon. Um... Just such an iconic game in the Pokemon series, guys. Um, I'm so glad I started this as the first Let's Play game. I think it was a really good one to start with. All right, and now, po now people are talking about an unknown Pokemon. Wow, and we're actually going to get asked here, was it red or blue, guys, depending on who we like? Honestly, blue is my favorite color, but I don't know. Latias kind of looks cooler, in my opinion. And it is red, obviously. But you know what? Let's go with blue, my favorite color. Let's go Latios. They both are the same thing. Dragon Psychic, I believe they are. Um, pretty solid Pokemon. And what what will happen is they'll roam around the region, guys. And, um, you know, after one turn, they'll flee. So we, we got to be able to catch those guys. Maybe we'll save our Master Ball for them. Um, but we'll just say blue here just to answer the question. All right, guys, we're going to park it outside here. Oh, I was going to say, barring any cutscenes here. Or not cutscenes, scripted uh, dialogue. So I think Birch is actually going to give us the national decks, guys. Now that we are champion of the Hoenn region, he's like, you know what? This guy's a champion. Maybe he can actually complete this decks I'm working on. All right, so here he goes. He's going to go to the little machine. Not sure why he goes to the healing machine. Not sure why he doesn't go to his computer up there. But uh, who the heck knows. They probably realized that after they made the whole sequence. And they were probably a game freak. Like, ah, we're not going to change that. But uh, my goodness, guys. We are champions of Hoenn. We're going to park it right outside here. We're going to save, guys. It has been a blast from the past. Stay tuned for more Pokemon Platinum. Uh, we're going to start that relatively soon. And guys, don't forget to check out my Twitch account. I think that's where we're going to do a lot more stuff. Um, the continuation of the Emerald storyline with the Legendaries and the Battle Frontier, guys. We're going to see that in full swing on Twitch. Don't forget to check that out, guys. Till next time, Knuckleheads. So long. It has been a blast, guys, playing this game from the past. So much fun. Definitely the most memorable playthrough ever. Till next time, guys. So long.